this is our Diablo um, stainless steel. Basically, this one has the carbide strip, so it's a much smaller TPI or tooth per inch than the other one. Uh, but we want to just make sure that we treat everything fairly. There's still about uh, nine or ten nails in here, so we'll see what this does. So it's definitely going to cut it. I don't see any teeth broken. Uh, we still, as you can see, have quite a few <laughs> nails stuck in there. Um, so it definitely does it. Uh, it's just going to do it real slow. Okay, so now we got our Diablo uh, thin. This is a carbide stripped, and it's a very small TPI uh, tooth. It says it's for stainless steel, um, but we're going to try it on mild steel because we're just going to see what this thing can do in all facets of cutting. Okay, so that seemed to cut okay. A little slow. Quite a bit slower than the other one. Uh, looks like we did start to generate quite a bit of heat, but the heat is up here. It's not actually in the teeth because the teeth are that carbide strip, and carbide deals with heat extremely well. Had this been a regular bimetal blade, that uh, steel up here, that bluing color right in this area right here, that would definitely indicate that those teeth are just about to start failing. Uh, however, I am not really seeing any chipping going on on there yet. So it looks like it's still good to go. And we got the carbide strip blade here. Uh, this is the smaller TPI, smaller tooth per inch. Um, I'm actually probably gonna have to move this out a little bit. With tool grade steel, this was a wrench at one point in time. Very nice cutting. Let's see what we got here. So again, same with the uh, larger one, we are starting to get uh, some chipping right in there. Uh, but we still have lots of good teeth to cut with. Uh, and it's a very hard, very hard carbide, so it's, I think it's still going to continue to cut for a while as we go through the testing here. All right, so this was the carbide strip from Diablo, and this is what it says it's designed to do. It's designed to cut stainless steel. <clears throat> so let's, uh, got our Maxim knife. Pull that out a little bit so we can get a little better cut on, on it. Right here. Okay, so game over. <laughs> the, uh, the carbide on this one was a better idea. The carbide strip just completely blew out. Uh, it's 100% gone. I bet I can make this thing cut the rest of this just for fun. But... Basically, I was able to do that by using the outer teeth out here. Um, but yeah, now it is 100% toast.
This blade now belongs in the garbage can. So the finer cut, I just don't know. It's just not holding up to um, the heavy duty abuse. Whereas the heavier duty cut, because it's not one solid strip of carbide, one or two or three got knocked off, but there's still plenty more on it. 